Now, forewarn weather with exclusive cutting edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. Yeah, if you had to run out and start the car at any point today, you see the steam, you know how cold it was out there. And but a warm up actually on the way. Ashley has been tracking all of that for us. Yeah, and some of the snow that you still see at the surface because we haven't been able to melt a whole lot. That's all going to be vanishing pretty soon too. Interesting in the middle of February. Now we just have to wait for the next snowstorm to <laughs> replenish that. That's right. And we know we'll see another of one course. before it's all said and done. But let's start with exact track 40 radar at this hour where you can see how we have some snow showers coming off the Great Lakes. For the most part, though, that is steering clear of our area, though we could get a flake or two with some cloud cover uh, throughout mid-afternoon before some more clearing going into this evening. Um, but that's what we're tracking so far there. Zooming in closer, that's where we have the drier air, maybe a flake or so off in parts of Washtenaw County and just northeast of Lapeer. But we are tracking the cold as far as what we have in store going into eh, really the next 24 hours. So let's get right to that right now we sit at 11 degrees and feeling like one below zero with the wind chill. This is a live look outside in Ann Arbor that is oh so chilly as we scour all four zones. Let's start with our metro zone right now. 19 is the actual air temperature in Taylor, one of the warmer spots, 14 in Livonia, 14 over at City Airport, going a little farther south, Dundee at 13, and we have 14 being reported in Monroe. Off to our west, 11 in Ann Arbor, 10 in Howell, same up into Flint and up into the Thumb, a lot of single digit temperatures, Romeo at 8, Port Huron 9, uh, Melvin is at 9 degrees as well. But as we factor in that northwesterly breeze that really does put a bite in the air, feeling more so like 5 below zero in Detroit, three below in Troy, six below in Flint, and let's not forget bad acts up here, 13 below zero with the wind chill. So this feels like forecast as we go throughout the afternoon and evening. We will have some wind chills, eh, single digits by the time we hit eight o'clock, but still several that are sub zero. Once we go into tomorrow, though, that's when we start to notice the difference into the afternoon. So 24 hours from now, those wind chills will be double digits. I mean, I didn't think I'd be looking forward to a 10 degree wind chill, but after today we might be. So for today, frigid with a few flurries rounding out your Friday. 13 is the forecasted high, which we sit at right now. Your forecast for tonight back in the single digits, six degrees, but feeling colder with the wind chill come tomorrow. Even though we start off frigid, we start to climb out of it, digging our way out of the deep freeze, getting to 32 two degrees into the afternoon, which is right on par with where we should be for this time of February. Our next big weather maker will be rain as those temperatures continue to rise next week. Widespread showers for your Tuesday afternoon. That's going to wash away some of the snow. We get some sunshine paired with some warmer temperatures on Wednesday. That helps a little more melting and then following some widespread showers moving in going into your Thursday afternoon and evening. Maybe a few pockets of some heavier rain. So we'll call this weather whiplash because we're all over the place. The next morning or so will be really cold. Six degrees come tomorrow morning, 32 for the afternoon high. Sunday and Monday getting in the upper 30s, so inching just above average. But by Tuesday, we will start a trend of 40 degree highs and we get close to 50 on Thursday.